Okay, guys, get ready to bottle up a uh, Belgian ale. Got my. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, 32 ounces. I put in three uh, Cooper carb tabs in each one. I'm supposed to put. Uh, I don't know if you can see them in there. I'm supposed to put one to 12 ounces. So three is just a little bit more than I need, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with it. Got my uh, twist top caps. Uh, these 32 ounces work real good. I got them from a bottom from a guy that went to kegging. Um, not too bad. But take a look at this. This thing looks like uh, an experiment gone bad. I'm just thinking, wow, you gonna bottle that? All that stuff on top? Well, I think it's gonna be okay. My last beer, I used a French saison yeast, and uh, I guess it it leaves a uh, Somewhat of a film, white filmy film. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, kind of a mold. But uh, smells good. Smells like beer. Actually, uh, I reused some French Saison yeast, some Duvel yeast, and uh, after it, after the primary fermentation, then I I went ahead and uh, Put in some champagne yeast to dry it out. Here's the recipe right here. It's uh, biscuit malt, half pound, half pound of flaked wheat, three pounds of dry malt extract, Pilsen, um, three three point three pounds of uh, Pilsen unhopped liquid malt extract, and then I'm using the carbs, Cooper carb drops, and then uh, I use Columbus and Willamette Willamette hops. So anyway. There's more of the 32 ounces. Hopefully, having a beer, having a beer with it. I'm going to bottle it up and then uh, let it let it age for about uh, 30 days. That's my experiment right there, Belgian ale with champagne yeast. Adios, compadres. Adios.